Stanford Cancer Institute is sort of a perfect jewel in many ways. It's a place where innovation is really fostered and a great model nationally for how you can do great things in science. In order to help and benefit the greater number of people through research, we need to make sure that what we find is actually applicable and generalizable to different populations. We've learned, really, that some treatments work better depending upon the individual's ethnic race background. I think then when we're testing new treatments, new cancer therapy, that it is important that we test it in all populations with that cancer. We talk about personalized treatment or targeted uh, cancer therapy. So from just a foundational aspect, it's really important that you have diverse populations involved to make sure your therapy works in a specific population or across all populations. Traditionally, we've had a problem bringing in participants from underrepresented or underserved communities, and we're trying very hard to bridge those gaps. People worry that they're going to be given placebo without their knowledge or that they may be exposed to substances that uh, may not be helpful. So I think one of the things that's very important is create a real awareness of what cancer research is like and uh, what the ethics are um, that we hold ourselves to when we ask people to participate and when we design the trials. One of the main concerns or potential myths that people might have related to clinical trials is that it's an experiment and that we do everything possible to ensure that we're taking all safety precautions necessary to do things in a very judicious fashion. Often these are the newest medications that are coming out based off of new scientific advances and we want to make sure they have that opportunity to take part in those treatment trials. From the very beginning, we are educating our patients about the possible risks and benefits of treatment, and we're seeing them in clinic to make sure that things are responding the way we hope that they are. It's really important for certain types of rare cancers where we don't have treatment. The only way we're gonna come to a place where we could offer patients effective treatment is having those patients involved in clinical trials where we test the treatment and make sure that it's effective. There are many ways of trying to bridge the gaps that have resulted in having a number of minority groups underrepresented in clinical trials. Stanford's involved in a number of projects to foster a culture of diversity. We need to think about who we're designing the studies for and with and to make our workforce and our patient population as diverse as possible by making people feel welcome, making people feel valued. Here at Stanford, we are able to partner with some of the best scientists and what's really amazing is to bring what they're discovering in the lab to our clinic. I often get to know my patients and their families through the hardest times of their lives. I really take very seriously my, my duty to help give them the hope that they need to go through the treatment process.